Hey, a friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Welcome to day eight in our Newbie to Ninja series here on the channel and website, where I'm going to help you go from being a beginner in Logic Pro to becoming an expert, where you're fully comfortable and capable to get right down to making amazing music in this awesome application. Today, we're going to dig into navigating around your projects or more specifically, zooming in and out of different areas across your projects. Sometimes you need to be able to see the entire contents of a project in a single window, as we have here. And sometimes you need to be able to get up close and personal on a particular aspect. Zooming is really a fundamental way of navigating around your projects. So I'll show you a number of different zooming features across the interface. But just like with the last video, I'm also going to show you a couple of key commands that will make this a lot faster for you. All right, let's dig into it. The project we have in front of us is the Mark Ronson Watch the Sound Live Loops Grid that comes with Logic Pro. We heard a bit of it in the last video. I find it really inspirational tonally and dynamically and just the arrangement of different parts. For example, right in the center of the project, there are a bunch of chopped up parts and I, I'd like to know what's going on in that particular section. So let's take a closer look. To start with, up in the upper right hand corner, we have some sliders that allow us to zoom in either vertically or horizontally. And if you just click and drag on these sliders, we can begin zooming in on our project. Let's give it a try with a horizontal slider. As you can see, as we start to zoom horizontally, because we haven't made any selections of a region or a note or even a marquee selection, the zooming is defaulting to zooming in on the playhead at the beginning of the project. So if we wanted to zoom in on the section that I want to take a look at, one way to do that would be to move the playhead somewhere around that section and then use the horizontal slider to expand upon this area of the project. Let's also try expanding vertically. Because the one selected aspect of the project is the drum track at the very top, the vertical zoom is now zooming in on that track. And similarly, if we want to hone in on the string and horn track, one way to do that would be to select the string and horn track and then begin the vertical zooming. So let's try zooming again now with our track selected. All right, now we're starting to hone in on this particular part of the project. Now let's take a quick listen to the string part. I'm going to solo it, start the playhead from bar 29, and let's just take a quick listen to a couple of these. All right, that sounds pretty cool. I'd like to get a better view of the waveform because as compared to the keyboard track, I can't really see what's going on on this track. If we go back up near the sliders for vertical and horizontal zooming, we also have a waveform zoom button. And if we click on this, all right, the waveform has expanded. But perhaps this level of waveform zooming is not enough for me. Well, if you click and hold on the waveform zoom, a slider pops up and now, you can expand much further than what the default would give you. Or smaller if you'd like. If you want to revert back to the original waveform size, we just click on this button and look at that. Everything is reverted back. At this point, we're pretty close to the strings and horns track. And personally, I would prefer not to use these zoom sliders to get back out. So instead, we could use the vertical and horizontal auto zoom buttons that allow us to automatically zoom out or in. Check it out. If I click on the vertical auto zoom, the vertical orientation of our project collapses to show us all of the tracks in our project. If we click on it again, we return to our zoomed in view. And if we click on the horizontal auto zoom, now everything horizontally has been collapsed so we can see everything from bar one to the end of the project. And if we collapse in both directions, all right, we're back where we started. These sliders and auto zoom buttons that allow us to go in and out of our project are available in other areas too, such as the editors. For example, if we go up to the editor button, looks like a pair of scissors, we click on it. And if we drag on the boundary of this window to expand the view, check it out. We can zoom in and out horizontally. We can auto zoom horizontally to see everything on this track as well as expand the waveform view. And if you click and hold, you get that slider so you can adjust accordingly. The same applies to software instruments as well. So if we click on the mixed boom bap track, 
the editor updates to the piano roll, which is the editor that you use to edit MIDI. And check it out. Go back down. We have vertical zoom. As well as horizontal zoom. And just like we explored in the tracks area, because again, we haven't made a selection anywhere in this editor, the zoom function is zooming in on the playhead. So let's move the playhead and zoom in again horizontally. We have horizontal auto zoom. And because we're not working with audio, we have no waveform zoom. Let's close the editor. And there's another way that you can zoom in and out of your tracks in your projects. And you can do this by clicking on the bottom boundary of any track that you want to zoom in or out of. So you can see this is the individual track zoom. If I click and start to drag, we can see that the mix boom bap track is getting larger. So we can see more of it. While we can go in the opposite direction, maybe I don't want to see the bass so much. If I go to the bottom boundary of the bases, I can click and drag up to reduce the view of the bass track. Definitely helpful, but things can get kind of crazy when you start playing with the zoom of individual tracks. And pretty soon you got tracks that are really tiny and really big. A way to get your tracks all back to the same zoom size is by going to the bottom boundary of any of these tracks, holding shift and clicking. Now all of our tracks have reverted to the same exact sizing. And what's super cool is a recent update of 10.7.5, you can now select multiple tracks by holding shift and clicking or by holding command and clicking. And when you drag on the bottom boundary of one of these tracks, all selected tracks expand or collapse. And then we can again revert these back to their original sizing by going to a bottom boundary holding shift and clicking. And you can see that the project is kind of expanding and contracting automatically. And that's because of these auto zoom functions. So now if we squash things up a bit, then expand the view of these three tracks, you can see that the tracks area is now automatically reorienting itself to keep all of the tracks in view. All right, so while it's very much appreciated that we have these sliders to vertically and horizontally zoom in and out, we have these buttons that automatically zoom in and out for us, and we can drag on track headers, it's really a lot of mousing around, and there's just much easier and faster ways to navigate through your projects. Once again, getting to know a couple of key commands, but also getting to know a single mouse click tool that will change the game for you. All right, first things first, I want you to get to know the key commands command and the arrow keys. This just makes things so much easier when you wanna get in and out of your projects. So instead of going up to the sliders, we're gonna hold command and press the right arrow. We can start zooming in horizontally. And finally, because we made a selection of these regions, the zoom functions are now honing in on the beginning of the regions that we selected. And zooming will focus in on any selected region or note in the piano roll or marquee selection that we make. And holding command still, let's press the left arrow to zoom back out horizontally. Additionally, if you hold command and press the down arrow, you zoom in vertically and the up arrow to zoom out vertically. The next key command is key command Z, which is toggle zoom to fit selection. This is such a helpful key command. For example, if we use our mouse to select the out of sight backing strings, and if we press Z on our Mac keyboard, the tracks area zooms in on this selection. And if you press Z again, you zoom back out. So you can make any sort of selection. We can select this entire track, press Z. And we zoom in on the whole track, zoom back out. If we make a selection with the marquee tool, which we'll talk about in the next video, Z, there we have it. Now we've zoomed in on this one selection. And if we press Z again, we zoom out. I bet you can imagine how helpful that could be when you want to zoom in on a particular section. Like when I held shift and selected these regions, I can hone in on this section of the project. We can also toggle the zoom for a selected track by selecting a track and using the key command control Z to expand the view of that track. So instead of dragging on a track header for a track, we can just hold control and press Z. And when we're done, just hold control and press Z again. So let's collapse the view of all our tracks. Once again, hovering over the bottom boundary of a track, holding shift and clicking. Every track has the same size now. And if we select one of these other tracks and press control Z, Look at that, that's awesome. If you wanna expand the waveform view of the tracks like we did right here with the string and horn section, instead of going up to the waveform zoom button and clicking on it and sliding this up and down, 
Let's instead hold command and press the equal button, which also has a plus symbol on it to expand the view or the key to the left of the equal plus button for the dash key. So you can expand and contract the waveform view just with these two keys. Zooming in on a particular section of the playhead is also very easy. Let's say we wanna zoom in maybe right about here in our project. If you hover your mouse over the playhead and hold option and then click and drag up or down, you can zoom in horizontally and out very, very quickly. Of course, we could also use our key commands, command, left arrow, and right arrow. But I saved the best for last because even though I appreciate all the sliders, all the buttons, all the key commands, frankly, when I want to zoom in on a section of my project, I just want to get right to it. I much rather just say, hey, take me right here where I'm looking. And the great thing is there's a mouse click tool. And if we go up to the tool menus right at the top here, these are all the mouse click tools. We're not going to dig into them today. We're going to dig into these tools on Monday. But right down here, we have this option for the zoom tool. But what's great is, is that you don't even have to select a mouse click tool to begin zooming around your projects. Instead, anytime you want to zoom in anywhere on your projects, hold the keys control and option. And this brings up the zoom tool automatically. At which point, if you want to zoom in on a particular area of your project, you just click and hold, drag across the area that you want to zoom in on, and then let go of your mouse. Look at that. We zoomed in on this particular section of the strings and horns, and we can zoom in further as much as we need. So I'll click, hold, and drag again while holding control and option. And let's see how close we can get. All right, this is like the one foot view. And if you want to zoom back out, hold control and option, and you don't drag over any section, you just click. And this backs you out from the zoom level. All right, so now we can start clicking and dragging all over the place. Check it out. And backing out, again, holding control and option to bring up the zoom tool and then dragging over a section. And to zoom out, holding control and option and just clicking to back out. There's actually a couple of variations on this key command. You can hold option as long as your mouse is hovering over an empty part of the project. This will bring up the zoom tool and we can click, hold, and drag over a section. But the problem is, is when your mouse is hovering over a region, holding option doesn't bring up the zoom tool. You instead have to hold control and option to bring it up. So I say just commit to memory, hold control and option, and you will have the zoom tool in any window that you're working in. So if we bring up one of the editors, and once again, hold control and option, click, hold and drag, and let's zoom in. Awesome. Holding control and option, just clicking backs out. And this works for software instrument tracks as well in the piano roll. All right. I have no doubt you're going to find out that zooming is going to become a huge part of your workflow as you work on your projects. And all these different options for sliders and buttons and key commands are fantastic. But the key command that beats all of this is holding control and option to turn your mouse into the zoom tool, at which point you can get in and out of different areas of your project in different windows at the speed of light. All right, on Monday, we're gonna actually dig into the mouse click tools and I will introduce you to each of the different tools and what they do. But of course, I'll give you a couple tips to streamline your workflow when working with the mouse tools. Thanks so much and I'll see you for more next week in this Newbie to Ninja series. Take care.